the way that this synod is uh, is structured is that, that we have a, a team of synod elders uh, and uh, for the past uh, two and a half years I've been the synod elder for the churches up, up here in, in North Wales which is a, a kind of, it's a pastoral role really. I've uh, got uh, a number of different roles uh, one of which is as training and development officer for the northern part of the Synod of Wales, uh, but I'm also uh, minister of two local churches, particularly in uh, in Disseth here in the village. We have quite a, an active church which helps us wants to serve the community, helps serve the community, and today we have a, a, a food co-op, a fruit and veg co-op, which uh, which runs weekly. But it's also uh, part of our fair trade event. It's nearly fair trade fortnight, so we're, we're, uh, we've got fair trade uh, activities going on as well. Uh, the day-to-day -day life of, of ministry it is one of the great things, really, because you're never quite sure what's going to happen, and there's such a variety of, of opportunities and, and activities that, uh, that are going on. Uh, and certainly in, in my role with all its different uh, uh, facets, I enjoy preaching and leading worship. I find it a real privilege to be involved with, with families uh, around you know, things like births and baptisms and, and funerals, uh, mostly people who aren't part of the church. So that's, uh, that's a, a real, uh, something I really enjoy. People always say, you know, meeting after meeting after meeting, and I, I think that there is something about that. You know, it's not a futile exercise, but sometimes it feels a bit, uh, a bit like, a bit like that. You know, that. The church often feels like a, an institution that is, uh, is quite slow moving. Uh, it's difficult sometimes to, uh, to understand where the church feels it's going, and uh, and that can be a, a frustrating time as well. Well, I have to say that when I was growing up through my, uh, you know, through my teens and early twenties, the the thought of being a minister never really crossed my mind. But uh, as time went on and I got involved with uh, with a with a local church uh, in in my own right as a as a as a young young adult, uh, it seemed to be that uh, the things that I were was doing in the church were were leading me in a direction that I perhaps never anticipated and uh, eventually came to the point where I felt was I was being called, always anticipating or expecting that at some point the, uh, the church would say no. The decision obviously isn't mine, it's of the church to, to accept you for, for, for training and uh, so uh, with a great sense of trepidation really uh, you know I gave up my my paid employment and uh, went off to Westminster College in Cambridge for four years to uh, to train as a minister of word and sacraments again a place that I never ever thought that I would uh, end up first of all I would I would say that 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 ministry and a call to ministry, what well, in my experience is a is a journey. It's a it's a process that God's called him into. It's a kind of slow a slow burn. One of the things that surprised me, I suppose, was the voices of the voices of other people, uh, which they perhaps just just the odd comment or the the chance remark, actually all started to build a, a, a picture in my mind about you know that, that confirmation of of the call that. Uh, that I was feeling. Find out what ministry is about. There are all sorts of different uh, forms of ministry, uh, and it might not be you know, that being a minister of word and sacraments is the is the calling that that is uh, this for you. And make, make inquiries. Don't be afraid to to do that. Mm -hmm.